Here is another trigonometric equation for you to try. I encourage you to give this one a go yourself. When I first saw this problem, I thought I needed to use the sum and difference formulas. So I was thinking about substituting two theta plus theta in for three theta. But in fact, a nice way to do this is to use all of the sum and difference formulas. So you can write theta also as two theta take theta. And you'll see that this simplifies really nicely. So let's go ahead and write this out. And now let's expand those terms and I'll try to fit all of this in one line if possible. There we go, I've used all of the sum and difference formulas for sine and cosine of a plus b and a take b. And we get this really large, horrible looking thing. But the nice thing here is that we can cancel a lot of these terms. So here we have a uh, sine of two theta sine theta and a subtract sine of two theta sine theta. They are going to cancel out. And on the right hand side we have a negative cosine of two theta sine theta and a positive cosine of two theta sine theta and they are going to cancel out. And what are we left with? We are left with uh, cosine of two theta cosine theta and cosine of two theta cosine theta on the left hand side. They are like terms so I can just go ahead and add those together. Same for the right hand side. So we get this really nice simplification where it simplifies down to two cosine two theta cosine theta equals two sine two theta cosine theta. Now we can, for example, move everything to the left hand side and factorize. So factorizing a two cosine theta out of both terms, we're left with cosine of two theta take sine two theta in the brackets. And this is all equal to zero. And now we have some solutions. So we're going to have solutions for cosine of theta equal to zero and cosine of two theta take sine two theta equal to zero. We have to do a little bit more work with that expression there. Uh, for example, we could uh, divide by cosine two theta. So for example, we could write it as cosine of two theta equals sine two theta, and then divide by cosine of two theta gives us tan two theta equals one, uh, which is fine, but we have to check then, we have to check then that cosine of two theta equals zero is not a solution to the original equation, which is not immediately obvious to me uh, whether it is or not. So I would have to in fact go ahead and check those solutions. Um, so instead of doing that, we can avoid that extra work um, and use the method we went through in the previous video in this series, uh, where we introduce a, uh, a division by root two. Uh, so what this does is allow us to uh, simplify this expression down using again the sum and difference formulas. So here we can use the fact that cosine of pi on 4 equals sine of pi on 4 equals 1 on root 2. Uh, then substitute those into that expression. So we have sine of pi on 4 cosine of 2 theta take cosine pi on 4 sine two theta equals zero. And then we can simplify that down to sine of pi on four take two theta. And for this equation, we don't have to divide by anything. So we don't have to check any additional solutions, which is nice. Cosine of theta equal to zero gives us solutions for theta of pi on two plus pi n. Uh, so three pi on two, five pi on two and so on. And sine of pi on four take two theta gives us solutions for pi on four take two theta uh, equal to zero plus pi n. And then if we subtract pi on four from both sides, uh, we have this. And then if we divide by negative two, we get theta equal to pi on eight uh, take pi on two n, uh, which you can also write as plus because you'll get the same solutions. Um, so whether you get a positive or a negative there, it's, it's fine. Let's check one of these solutions with our original equation. So our first solution here 
would be uh, negative 3 pi on 8. Uh, and so let's go ahead and check that with our original solution. Negative 3 pi, our original equation, sorry. So plugging that in, if we plug in negative 3 pi and 8, we get cosine of negative 3 pi and 8 plus cosine of negative 9 pi on 8, 9 pi on 8, equal to sine of negative 3 pi and 8 plus sine of uh, negative 9 pi and 8. Running out of room a little bit there. Um, but if you plug that in to a calculator, uh, you'll find that both sides are equal. It's a bit of a shame that I, I don't have nice values there. We could check, for example, pi and 2. Uh, that gives us a, a bit of an easier time. Uh, so let's check pi and 2. So cosine of pi on 2 plus cosine of 3 pi on 2. And on the right hand side we have sine of pi on 2 plus sine of 3 pi on 2. So what do we get here? Um, so sine of pi on 2 is 0, cosine of 3 pi on 2 is 0, then sine of pi on 2 is 1 and sine of 3 pi on 2 is negative 1. Uh, so that is in fact equal. All right, so I hope you liked that problem. I really like how uh, you use all of the sum and difference formulas to simplify it in this step. I think that's really fun. And uh, yeah, hopefully that was instructive to you. Please leave a like if you did find it helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.